Hello, welcome to another edition of Spark the Arts. And I have another great artist to introduce you today. Uh, we're very excited about it. And her name is Gisela Romeo. Gisela, welcome to our program today at Spark the Arts. Thank you, David. Thank you, you for know, the invitation. Oh, you're more than welcome. And, and we really do like to get to know the artists and, and share your, your work with everyone here so they can come down and meet you. But do me a favor, get us, give me just a little bit of your background. Tell us, tell the, the audience about yourself, please. Okay, well, my name is Gisela Romero. I am a, an American Venezuelan a visual artist. Uh, I emigrated from uh, Venezuela seven years ago. I have been living in Orlando. Um, I came directly from Caracas to Orlando. Uh, I have been a, a visual artist all my life. And I mean, since I was a child. And um, in, the, in the profession um, path, I mm -hmm. have been more than 30 years. I came to the United States to study illustration in the 80s, and then I went back to Venezuela, and then I came again in the 90s to have the, the master's degree in Pratt Institute in New York, and then I went back to Venezuela because I really never thought that I was wow. going to be an immigrant. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 And, and what brought you to Orlando? Um, well, I, I was going to go to Miami because it was closer to Venezuela in case I had to go uh, because of an emergency, emergency or something, right, right. And, and I chose uh, Florida for that. But uh -huh. then I decided to come to Orlando because after we had so many political problems in Venezuela, Hector and I, my husband and I, wanted to have uh, more, more peace. We wanted uh -huh. to be in a smaller place, in, in a city that was gentle as Orlando, because I think that is a very good size. I mean, it's, 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 a very, it's, it's a small city with everything we need, with right. a very, very, very beautiful cultural life, which, which, which uh, I love and we love. And uh, at the same time, was a quieter, was mm -hmm. a, a, a smaller place uh, with a lot of nature, and and we decided to stay here. We came here just to visit, and we decided to stay oh, here. I, I did the same thing, <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> but but tell me about your art. Okay. Um, well, as as I said, I have more than thirty years in mm -hmm. in in this uh, area, and. Uh, I, I used to make a lot of um, drawings because I make drawings in different sizes, techniques, and uh, on different surfaces. This mm -hmm. is my main thing. I make drawings. And uh, I, I was very uh, related to nature and the forms of nature and everything that I found in the street or everything, a pattern that you have in your blouse or everything. But then I decide, because I think that artist, uh, an artist is uh, it always respond to the circumstances. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when many things started to happen in my life, it, uh, I changed uh, everything that I was doing and I started to uh, uh, be more involved in emotions. Uh, my work is mostly abstract. I like lines, uh, forms, and colors. And of course, when I need something that is figurative, I do it. Um, but I've, I uh, started to make a main project uh, last year, and I had I had a very big exhibition in the Art and History Museum of Milan mm -hmm. um, about stories because i also write stories i mean the, no. the the first the first thing that i do is to write story or something or, or a poem and then i translate that into into images mm -hmm. so i started to work with stories from immigrants that are here in the united states from different parts of the world I had this exhibition and then I realized that all the emotions were the, the same emotions that a, any person ha, uh, has having a transition, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A, a change in, in their lives. So I'm working with nostalgia, with fragmentation, sadness, happiness, acceptance, oh, yeah. all these kind of things that any, any person um, uh, feels when coming from Kentucky to, yeah, yeah. Uh, to, uh, to Orlando or, uh -huh. or having a child or, or 
getting a divorce or whatever, any transition uh, has these different um, moments. Uh -huh. uh, it, it has la the, the fragmentation. The, it yes. has the, the the procession. The the things that you you are leading with with also with another people. Um, then you have the blank page, mm -hmm. which is the, the the possibility of having this surface surface to 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 write again or to put images or, mm -hmm. or circumstances again and then you have the acceptance you have to accept that you uh, have this change in your life and you have to be grateful and 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 start again very good. and this is what happened with with me when i came here i ha i had a very uh, successful career yeah. in in venezuela and then i came here with a suitcase and i had to start yeah. from zero from zero well, uh, you know, what's coming up every month, we're, today as we tape this, we have our very first Spark the Arts uh, hospitality event. Yes. Uh, it's from four to seven, so they can come in to meet you. Yes. But it's not just that. I mean, you're, you're an artist in residence, and uh, it's a long process, and it's a selective process. So congratulations on, on making that happen. Thank you. And uh, is all your work for sale that's in the gallery? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wonderful. It's, yeah. It is. And some of them are not, but mostly. All mostly all they are. Of them. Yeah. And do you, do you do commission work? I haven't done that. Uh-huh. I, I, I would like, I don't know. Yeah. I would think it about like, it. Yeah. It sounds like, it sounds like yours, your stuff comes from your heart and what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I understand that. Yeah. I have a different process. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll we'll have more time together. I of want to course. thank you for joining me today. How can people get? To, you have a website. Do you mind if I give them your website? Please. It's uh, it's uh, G I S E L A R O M E R O A T A R T dot com. Uh, I'll put that up on the screen so you guys can see it. And uh, thanks again for joining me. Thank you, David. You're thank welcome. You very much. And everyone, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll be back with more artist uh, profiles and let you get to know the artists in residence and, uh, and what we're doing with Spark of the, Spark of the Arts. And uh, thank you for joining us. My name is David Wheeler. I'm the CEO of the Global Peace Film Festival. And you have a wonderful day. And take care.